I want to talk to you today about supercooled liquids and how that relates to aircraft icing. So here in this beaker, I have a solution of water and sodium acetate, and it's actually been melting. I had a vial of supercooled crystals like the, or of um, some sodium acetate crystals like this, and I've combined them with water. I've also made a little stick with some sodium acetate crystals on it right here. But uh, this uh, solution is now ready to be cooled. And so it has a lot of sodium acetate crystals in it mixed with water. So I'm going to put it in another bath to cool it off for a few minutes. And while it cools off, you may see that there is a little bit of crystal that will start forming in the bottom of that vial. But that's not, not to, to worry about that. And uh, in the meantime, I want to mention a little bit about super cooled water in the atmosphere. Now this is a sodium acetate solution that I'm working with here. But when you think about super cooled water in clouds, what's going on is that we have some water that has gotten cooled, that is so pure, it has so little contaminants in it that it is able to be cooled below its normal freezing point. And that could be, that means that that water could remain liquid as cool as possibly up to negative 40 degrees Celsius. Definitely can be super cooled down to easily negative 10, negative 15, negative 20 degrees Celsius. And what happens when we have suspended liquid water that's super cooled in the atmosphere, when an airplane runs into that super cooled liquid water, then it's actually going to start a chain reaction where the water is going to begin to form um, ice crystals because that super cooled water gets bumped by an airplane hitting it and it essentially starts forming chains of crystals and then forms ice uh, because it has been super cooled at that point. So um, that super cooled water in the clouds now suddenly glaciates, it begins to uh, stick all over the airplane and it begins to ice over. So that's how come we can get icing in clouds. It's from super cooled liquid water in the airplane running into that, that water. So uh, I'm going to show you what happens when I take this uh, stick with some sodium acetate crystals on it. And we're just going to pretend that that represents my airplane, some kind of airplane wing surface, maybe a pitot tube or a tail surface. And we're going to end up touching this super cooled sodium acetate solution and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to remove the super cooled sodium acetate solution from my beaker. I was just cooling it down for a minute in here and it has a pretty good black background. So you can probably see this is, this is liquid, but I'm going to open this tube. And I'm going to go ahead and insert this stick, which I've coated in sodium acetate crystals. This is now a super cooled liquid full of sodium acetate crystals. And we're just going to touch it with these other crystals and see what happens. And you can see right there, it is immediately forming into crystals. The whole thing is crystallizing. And it's really, it's a little hard to see, but you can see that that was liquid and it is now no longer liquid. If I put the cap back on my vial here, you can see this process has formed into mostly just a solid mass of crystals. See, it's all stuck there at the bottom. And so I basically just bumped that super cooled fluid of sodium acetate and water and instantly formed it into crystals. So. Uh, I could put this back in warm water and actually warm it up and do the experiment again. But essentially what we have going on with aircraft icing is we have super cooled liquid water floating in the air, suspended in the air in clouds. If an airplane bumps it, it can very quickly start the chain reaction. We don't have sodium acetate involved. We have just very, very, very pure liquid water. And hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something about aircraft icing. And we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos about aviation and meteorology and weight and balance. See you guys later.